get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, we have a local Chicago, Jason Van Boom's founder of Active Campaign, which is a web-based marketing platform that helps hundreds of thousands of small businesses improve and automate their marketing. Jason, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. I um, always ask, since this is Inspired Insider, two things. One, what's been the lowest point in the business and how you push through? Sure. Uh, 2008. Um, 2008 was a fun time. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't say it was due to like the financial markets and things like that, per se. Um, it was just a challenging time. I uh, got married, um, went on a honeymoon for two or three weeks. I come back and all hell has broken loose. Really? In terms of revenue, everything. Not because I was gone, per se. It was just we had a couple product updates around that time right beforehand. Um, we were still in that perpetual model, and it was just a very rough time as a company um, where you know, it basically took everything in my power to just keep things moving along. Um, and that was never really apparent um, to pretty much anyone here, yeah. um, but it, it 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 took me to a place where I didn't want to go again, and that in part is what led to um, trying to refocus the company and to uh, uh, stabilize our revenue. And, refocus? Uh, you mean cut down on the products or cut down on the products? So refocus on that, and then also figure out a better revenue model where one we can grow faster. And two, it can be more stable. And SaaS kind of fills both of those very yeah. nicely. What was the most painful product-wise at that time when you did the product update? Um, it, it, it was even more so than the actual update. It was the fact that we spent time and resources on something that people didn't care about. Mm. So instead of updating uh, the email marketing like we should have been spending time on, yeah. we decided we're going to focus in more on our content management, more on our knowledge management. At the time, the market's shifting where you have all these other options going on there. Uh, it was a wise choice to focus on those. We devoted a lot of time. We only had like you know, five to eight people, or maybe six, somewhere around there at the time. Having a couple people focus on the wrong product was a big error. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, yeah. So it's realizing what you're best at, but also what else is in the market of what yeah. you were doing that is going to capture the market that's maybe a waste of your time. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough, especially after you get from, you're supposed to be relaxed after your honeymoon. Yeah, it, it was not a fun, you know, and it took, uh, you know, I'd say it took like six months at least to like actually be somewhat more stable personally, um, you know, and that takes a toll on, on you as a person and, and you know, it, it it will affect the company because it's it's hard to uh, completely stay away from things. Yeah. So how do you manage that then going home? How do you disconnect? Yeah, well, well then, yeah, it, it wasn't. There's no, uh, there's no. Because you have dashboards at home too, so you can't get away from <laughs> yes. it. Yes, yeah. Well, I didn't have one then. Oh, okay, but but I'm also the type of person where I always know our metrics, regardless of that, because I have it on right. my phone and I probably look at that. Yeah, an unhealthy number of times a day. Like I, sh I probably don't <laughs> up to the minute like AR and net churn. And stuff. You wake up at two in the morning. I just got to check this now. That's the first thing I look at. Yeah, right. very unhealthy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest doing that. Um, For someone but, who's not balanced, which I would say most people who run businesses may yeah. probably error on that not balanced side. What do you do now? Do you do anything to help you disconnect from that so you're not completely stressed yeah. or thinking but, about it? My family helps me kind of force me to do that in a, in a good way. Um, so when I get home, um, I, I do try to disconnect. It might just be for an hour or two, but I, I try to like actually like just spend some time, you know, without being on my phone. Um, and uh, then, you know, it's, it's I'm getting better at it. 
it's uh, it's pers- you know it's it's not because I feel like I'm adding some like tremendous value. It's just I am extremely passionate. You're about obsessed it. with your business. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. You so you tinker with drones with your kids to take your mind off it or something. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the that's been a great you know thing for me because all you know spending any time with them it's just very simple they, they put things in yeah. a nice perspective for me so on the flip side jason what's been one of the proudest moments in the business uh it's really been this last you know six months or so it's um showing the type of growth rate that we're experiencing um improving upon that growth rate when people say that we're going to be decreasing um, and then proving that wrong and uh, just building it up further. It's just been a, it's been exciting um, with all sorts of new things and, and tons of problems, but, but good problems to have. Um, and, and we're going to have some less exciting challenges in the future, I'm sure. Um, but right now, it's just been a, a really fun experience. So what have you done to celebrate? Um, nothing. Nothing great? Nothing overly. You're special. getting a new office? Yeah, we're getting a new office. So, we're what's exciting in the future that yeah. you're most excited about for Active Campaign? Um, it's it's the sh- continuing shift. So, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to make the uh, the, the sale and, and the reason to go to Active Campaign more about a contact experience and less about feature, feature, feature. Um, and this is something that I think we'll see um, slowly progress over the year because we want to take kind of a a, a soft approach to it as we have with everything so far yeah. um, and, and really diving into being more about that contact experience and that might mean you know additional features expanding on things we already have um, but making it less about like we have email marketing with feature XXXXX you know, it, and more about the value we provide um, and I think why I find that exciting is um, one people will realize the value as part of the sales process they'll see it as part of the success and support process and and that'll translate to all of our metrics yeah what about the proudest as far as customer success goes where you what was one customer that has a particular huge amount of success using active campaign yeah so just like the other you know I, get I know you have some case studies uh, yeah we have some case studies but honestly the the more valuable items I find are just people that email me and it's it's a small shop it's a small store or something like that and they're like I just wanted to say thank you for building this like you know we just created a small and it's not even like complex automations normally just we created a simple you know follow up sequence on our customers and we just saw our sales go up 40% or something like that yeah. and it's it's dollar wise it's not like it's not like huge but it's huge to that business right. and and how unique all these little you know these nice small businesses are it, it's yeah. i find that to be just fascinating how yeah. much reach we have in regards to that yeah what's one of the most unique type of businesses that you, that are on the platform that you were surprised uh, and um yeah it's uh it's literally all over the board um we've had some some interesting uh um, organizations, I guess I'd say. Um, we've had things that are like nonprofits. We've had like uh, Earth Hour and whatnot do all their campaigns with us. We've had some political um, things, which are interesting of its own category. <laughs> uh, I won't get into that, but um, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just all over the board. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, Jason, I want to thank you. This has been fantastic. Everyone should check out activecampaign.com. What should we leave people with after everything we've talked about? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just trying to look at your business and thinking about what could save you some time and uh, what you're trying to accomplish and, and how you could utilize some form of automation to to accomplish that and and really just reaching out to us because that's a big task for a lot of people the thinking of like how or like what would I set up so the tool is there but how do you use it and, and we recently released an update where we actually provide a bunch of sample recipes and workflows for common businesses hmm. on certain that's areas. cool how you how you could automate customer success how you could automate like more of a net promoter type of uh, setup how you can automate you know just keeping nurturing someone along the sales process and then we're here to just if, if you know just start that dialogue and we can usually you know save you a ton of time in figuring out what it is yeah. so you spend less time yeah. on the uh, execution side time is precious use automation yeah go back to you have a million things to do you have the offices and employees Jason 
it's been absolutely fantastic thanks uh, thank you thank you for having me what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other side see life's like a beach if you find the sand right now i'm feeling like a hundred grand <laughs>